Welcome, plungers. Thank you for pulling up and tapping in. See, I said it right this time. So here we are with our Pteranodon. And what I realized when I head headed out, when I head out, is that I did not give you guys a proper tour of the base. So let's just run back up in here real quick so we can show you what the actual base looks like under proper lighting conditions because the light was terrible the last time well it was nighttime so here are my walls my behemoth doors with adequate room on all sides for larger tames like t-rexes and gigas and that's another thing. I also did not show y'all guys the beautiful giga that I got. So let's get up in here. I did go back to my other base and uh, bring Lola over here. So we got Lola in the house. And let me show you the giga real quick. I'm going to have to put Lola away. Because I don't think I have enough food in the trough, but... I could also ideally, uh, didn't I not bring the Gigas with me? Oh, there it is. There it is. Is this the Giga? Yeah, that's the Giga. So let's show you what this guy looks like. I can't throw him out in here. So we're gonna, gonna do it over here. And this is my Giga. Look at that. Isn't it lovely? Male or female? Let's see. I don't even know. A girl. It's a girl, y'all. Level 135. With a couple of levels to go. Uh, I got her because she was meshed into a wall and couldn't get away. Couldn't attack me. So I made good use of that. Melee damage is 140. That is... That's horrible, actually. Let's pick pick her up and we're gonna go back in here we're gonna drop her off and in today's episode we're gonna look for a new base location I do not need to carry her around with me I just got a juvenile Bronto do not need to carry that with me uh, Dinosuchus Carnotaurus yeah I'll just keep Tennyson with me We need a name for this Pteranodon. He's a happy boy. He is a happy boy with a beautiful saddle. Let's make it clear. I don't like the fog and all that stuff. Um, yeah, we're looking for a new base location. And this is honestly the first time that I've been to Red Ob. Usually Red Ob is riddled with dinos. I'm not sure if that is an alpha, but we're going to find out right now. It is not an alpha. This one is pretty strong, though. For a level 35. Look, see, there's, a, I believe, a Giga. And that's how I caught... Oh, no, that's uh, Karcho. That's how I got the Giga I got last time. That's exactly how. Let's put him down right here. Check this Karcho out, yeah. Archidontosaurus, level 12. Not a great level, but it might be good practice for trying to figure out how to tame this thing. Because what you got to do is you got to trap it. And then you have to drag corpses to it so it can eat the corpses. And there's a purple drop down here, so we're going to make our way to this purple drop while we scout the general area for someplace nice to build. Oh, a purple drop with a red ring, yeah. Definitely want to grab that, preferably before this... 
before that shadow mane picks up on me. Oh no, weighed down. Okay, let's, let's drop some stuff. Uh, damn it. Let's hope we survive this, because I, this is what I dreaded. All right. Oh no, he's still alive. He's still coming after us. Let's hope we can deal with him before I get dealt with, because I'm on fire right now. Yeah, we got him. All right, let's throw some, I mean, at least one into weight. And uh, what to drop? I have no idea what to drop at this point. Okay, he's fine. And I should be fine. So, uh, what is this? Megatherium saddle? I'm not quite sure if I need a Megatherium saddle. Uh, what does this crossbow I have do? Okay, let's, let's dump the crossbow. Um, I mean, yeah, we could dump this crossbow as well. We don't need that. And, I mean, that's a great Megatherium. Okay, I can fly. So, let's get back to the base real quick. And drop off everything because this is this is not happy this is not a pleasing undertaking so are we going the right way yes we're going the right way see I, I'm not familiar with the landmarks in this area yet so I do have to acclimate myself to the environment oh look Oh, that's a... Uh, I thought that was a uh, Quetzal, but it's not. So let's get to our base, wherever that may be. It's right here. Again, acclimating myself to the environment is something that I really, really need to do ASAP. Because this is not cool. But I guess the drop was worth it. For that saddle? I don't, I don't, because I know at some point a Megatherium is going to come in very handy. And I did not close this door on my way out. I think I'm going to leave the Pteranodon home. So let's, let's get down here and chuck some of our stuff in here. Let's, get rid of all the meat because I have enough on me uh, let's get rid of all the berries because I have enough on me I mean even though none of this are weighing me down because of the stacking mod um, we'll throw these armors in here and the saddle I don't need these, don't need those. I wish I'd seen them earlier. And you know what? I could chuck everything in there. Take this guy out. Uh, I'm gonna leave her in here. So pretty much just grab my ammo. And uh, head back on out. I might actually take... Where am I? I gotta get my bearings. Okay, I might actually take the Pteranodon after all. Because I am going to go back to the base and I'm going to pick up the RG. But this is the fastest way. And the safest. And hopefully, we can level up on our way. So let's close our door this time and head back out.
Okay, so let's head up and over this mountain here. Oh my goodness, a drop, another drop. The bane of my existence. And look, it just so happens to be another one with a red ring. But this seems to be in a safer location. So let's uh, plop down right here. Hop off. Grab this. Oh no! Instant death. Yeah, and I have no bed at this new location. Ah. I'm gonna have to respawn at my main base. Jeez. And we'll just pray. That everything is good with our Tyranodon when we get back over there. But yeah, that was not a pleasant experience. I need to get some grappling hooks or some parachutes or something, but that wasn't it. And I should have known, I saw him sitting there. I should have known before I tried to reach out and grab the stuff. Ugh. Well, the good news is you get to see the new Pteranodon, I mean, the, the new RG, <laughs> without me having to fly all the way over here. So there's the new RG, Samantha, gorgeous, but I'm not taking any chances. And uh, this one has no saddle. Let's see what Samantha's stamina is looking like before I head out, because it might be good. Uh, no, it's not. Ugh. I'm gonna take a Natho. I'm taking, ah, uh, I don't know. Like, now I'm stuck. I don't know what to take to get back over there. I could take, uh, Flukes, but I kind of want to protect them a little bit. I should take the Dinosuchus. Do I have another? Yeah, we're gonna take this RG. We're gonna head back over there. That was that was really truly a mistake and terrible on my part. <sighs> so let's head over there to my last death. And this RG has a level. Of, oh wow, this RG has a lot of level ups. Let's, now let's get it. And this RG does not have a name. Level 184 and no name, which is horrible. So we're gonna have to give this one a name at some point. Like, I can't believe I did that. I lost everything and I'm gonna, I'm gonna cryo the Pteranodon if he's still alive, because he doesn't deserve this. To be left alone all the way out there on his own. Didn't I turn off the fog? I know I turned off the fog, but yeah, we're just gonna head back over here. Me and my drops, it never fails. Well, it does fail sometimes because I do have a drop habit. I, I go and pick up every single one that I see. And that green one to my right is no exception because I have a feeling if it's on the ground, I'm gonna go get it. And do I have enough stam to make it over there? Let's not take any chances with a spino in the water. Oh, look at them dodos. These summer bash colors are amazing. I have a lot. That was me trying to take out my spyglass. What the hell is wrong with you, yo? What the heck is wrong with you, my G? I don't even got nothing on me. My dude just tried to cold take my cryo ball from me. That's crazy. How you just try to just snatch my cryo ball, my cryopod, cryopod. It's not a ball at all. I've been watching a little bit too much syntax. But yeah, how are you just gonna try and snatch my cryopod from me? 
I came out here just genuinely trying to scout new locations for a base. And I got taken out by a saber cat. Almost taken out by... And look at this. What do we have? The Omiya saddle and a carbon Emmy saddle. And I'm gonna grab both of them things because that's what I do. And I gotta make it to my last death, which is, what is that, a quarter of a mile away? Half a, half a mile? So we gotta fly half a mile to get my body and get back my stuff. Is that Nafo in the water? There's Nathosauruses everywhere on this map. I moved the Ceratosaurus up in the queue for the mods in priority, and I still have yet to see one, and I would like to. I would like to see one. I would like to feed Tennyson some of that hemoglobin stuff. And just have a good draw. Oh, look at that, Archie. Wow, purple wingtips. Oh my goodness. Oh, again, I have no spyglass, so I can't see what level it is or anything like that, but that's gorgeous. These summer dash colors are truly amazing. And the stamina on this is incredible. So, are we on this side of the hill or the other side? I hope it's this side but it seems like it might be on the other side. I mean, it could be over here. It could be on this side. Let's see, are we? No, we're not on this side. We have to fly through whatever area this is. And hopefully none of the lava can drip onto me. Oh my goodness, I gotta navigate my way through here. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I say, wait a minute. I think we inadvertently found a new base location. Okay, let's put it down. And uh, let's, let's store this base location right here. And uh, we'll name it with question marks, because at this point, I'm not exactly sure if I will make it a base. But, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, it's a new base location. So this Argentavis needs a name. Our Tyrannodon needs a name. Look at that beautiful RG. And that is an egg. I'll just leave the egg for now. Oh no! He's getting attacked. He is getting attacked right now. It ate my body. That's what it did. It ate my, my entire body. Where's he at? Uh, put everything on follow. Oh, there he is. All right, come on, let's get up out of here. No need for you to bang out anymore. I'm just gonna take you home, man. try to keep you safe because I was crazy almost lost you and I would have felt horrible level 130 Tyrannodon and I caught this guy when he was like level 67 and raised him from young and by raise I mean just left him on the roof and he just gained experience from all the building I was doing but either way it'll be a shame to lose him because he didn't do nothing he was just trying to help out. Come back and he's in a big bang out. But what I did see was him doing a lot of damage. I didn't see the damage being done to him. Why couldn't that be a Ceratosaurus right there? 
instead of a daggone T-Rex. I don't need Rexes. I got Tennyson. And I got a girlfriend for Tennyson, so we're gonna start doing some breeding at some point, but I don't need another T-Rex. Not not now. My belt. There are a lot of T-Rexes out here. What is that? Uh Carno fighting a T-Rex? That's not usually how it goes down. But yeah, we did find the base location, so you can probably expect to see something built in there. Real nice. Oh, look, a griffin that we're going to stay away from also. I mean, I could probably one shot a griffin with this RG, but my aim is to get up in here. And we're going to save our Pteranodon from some grief. Okay, put her down. Are you freaking kidding me? Look at that, that thing just followed us in here. Y'all yeah, to land and let me deal with this. Level nine, should have known better. Should have known better. Now look at you, leaking, getting harvested. How does it feel to be harvested, bitch? Okay, let's do some cooking while we're here. And this RG has got to land somewhere, please. Um, yeah, I'm going to end it right there because, yeah. So that's what it'll be for a lot of these episodes. I'm just going to build and explore and just go with what I feel. So in the next episode, you should see some progress on that little cave we found. But until then, thanks for tapping in, guys. Peace.